the time here is 11.26 in the evening, which is uh, September 16. And may I greet everybody around the globe. Good morning. Uh, in Japanese, Ohayo gozaimasta. In Spanish, Buenas tardes, compañeros. In, in Africa, and in French colony, Bunzu. In the Philippines, magandang gabi sa inyong lahat. In, in Visayas and Mindanao, mayong gabi sa inyong tanan. The reason why I'm here on my digital platform office, I would like to answer the questions those buyers that come on conference with me privately. Now, may I advise to this uh, Italian buyer that uh, he is going to buy 20 kilos of gold and he has no company registration. May I advise you guys? Uh, I'm not supposed to advise you and I'm not going to force you to buy. Yes, gold is a really uh, high demand and most of the gold trader trader buying gold for their protection for against inflations and deflation may i advise to this particular buyer that will come for conference i don't want to lose your money and i would love to sell gold to you but i would like to advise you registered first your business registration and you get first importation license to bring the gold to your destination and i don't want you to rush i know you pa you found me on facebook that you are very interested to buy 20 kilos and i don't want you to lose your money because 20 kilos is really a million dollars mm -hmm. our selling price is 57 as today now i'm going to update you first the price okay just bear with me I'm going to the world market. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, gold world. Market. The price of gold changes uh, every thirty minutes. So I'm going to update you. Today is September sixteen. Now the price of gold today is nineteen seventy point fifty per ounce. In dollar term is sixty three thousand three hundred fifty two point forty eight as today as today okay so my advice to this uh, italian buyer i know you have been window shopping okay and there's so many sellers are hungry to sell to you but you come to me i will rather not to force you to buy but take time you registered first your business reg company just business registration and you registered for us to get importation license why i advise you like this when you bring your gold in your destination you you will be asked by your custom that you do you have an importation license now we are going to export the gold to you mm -hmm. so the seller will provide you export documentation and when you bring that to your destination, you will be given export documentation like commercial invoice, as a report, the gold is free of illegal activities, ownership, and custom clearance. Now, when you travel to your destination, you have to present that to your country of arrival because that gold is money. So you have to declare that and your country of your arrival will ask you where is your importation license because you are going to pay importation duty. Mm -hmm. No such seller will explain to you what you have asked for. Now 20 kilos, our selling price less 5%. Mm -hmm. Now don't be confused. The real seller sell gold 5%. Mm -hmm. When you come to Wilhelmina, Wilhelmina is an extension office of the seller. Mm -hmm. I would know 
which cello I'm going to put you either Bamakumali, Sierra Leone, and Conakry. But first of all, before I'm going to determine which cello I'm going to put you, I need to validate you. Validate means I need to interview you because I don't want you to be duped at the end of the transaction. Mm -hmm. So I feel sorry for you if you're going to be duped because this is million dollars you're buying. Now, on 20 kilos, I'm giving you 57 less 5%. Mm -hmm. That 57, I will give you 8% based on the world market. Now, I'm going back to the world market so that you will not be confused. Okay, just a minute. Mm -hmm. Now, the price of gold today is 63.293.25. So, I'm going to get the pen. So, if I'm going to give you 5%, because that is the real price, 5% minus uh, less 5%, okay? Minus 63 again. Just a moment, 663. 319.37 okay so it is 60,000 so don't be back don't be worried I will give you 8% mm -hmm. 63,189 point 64 less 8% so you have a profit of five thousand fifty five dollars per kilo Minus again sixty three two eight five point thirty seven. So we are selling fifty eight on eight percent. However, I am going to give you fifty seven when you send me a letter of intent to purchase coming from you that you are really, really a real buyer. Mm -hmm. So, instead of 58, I'm going to give you 57 per kilo. On 20 kilos, I'm not going to mention this buyer, his Italian buyer. On 20 kilos times 57, okay? Okay, uh, 67, no, 57, I'm sorry, times 20. That is 1,140,000 thousand mm dollars -hmm. so mr. buyer I know you've been watching me but I'm not going to mention you need so that you will not be embarrassed please registered first your company it's just only a business registration and also secure importation license if you're gonna bring the good to Italy you need to register your yourself or business name so that when you bring that to Italy, you will not be questioned by your custom department. In the airport, they will open your, your metal box. And uh, yes, we will provide you export documentation. But do you have license to import? That is the biggest hurdle to you. Now, the seller would not explain to you like this. Mm -hmm. I don't want you to lose one million one hundred forty thousand dollars. I love to sell the gold to you, but uh, that is a big money for you, and I don't want you said, "Oh well, Amina, I was being scammed." No, you were not being scammed. You are just careless. Mm -hmm. So, I think I answer your question. Now, last night I have a very, very good uh, Zoom conference uh, with a gentleman. And he's been following me, and it is my privilege that he invited me for a Zoom conference, and he asked a lot of questions, and I think I've given him the right answer. His question is like this, well, Amina, how could the buyer from Europe be protected that when he traveled to Africa, he would not be duped? Mm -hmm. And I told him that's a very good question. First of all, the buyer in Europe, which the gentleman that I am 
having a Zoom conference. So you are acting on behalf of your buyer because your buyer doesn't speak English, your buyer speaks your dialect in Europe. You need to travel with your buyer and Wilhelmina mm -hmm. in order for me to guide you, in order for me to facilitate. My role is not easy. At the same time, I am a business tour guide. Mm -hmm. I know Africa ins and out. And I don't want you to be frustrated at the end of the day because you are buying money and this is a very, very complicated and very dangerous if you made an error. Mm -hmm. So I always advise the buyer that please do your planning, do your uh, calculation because this gold business is not is BLC, it's not LC, it's not CIF. I mentioned that several times that there is no way you can get CIF. CIF cost insurance and freight. That is normal, you have to pay the shipping cost 1% on the total sell value. You need to insure the gold another 1% on the total sell value in total of 2%. Now, on 1 million plus. 2% of 1 million, do your calculation. You have to pay first the gold, right? Because you are buying money. Then when you pay the gold, you insure that and you pay the shipping cost. Now, there is always a costing when you taste the gold to a local refinery. Last night, I was being asked, well, Amina, how could I know to get the other, to get the purity that I don't have a gold tester. Okay, the question has been answered and I told him spend money to buy gold tester in in your end. You can buy gold tester online. There is 5,000, there is 22,000. You spend money in order for you to double check. Mm -hmm. So the gold will be inspected in the office when you travel to my head office. Mm -hmm. I don't deal any seller whom I don't know. I only deal the seller that I handle it. Okay, so I advise this gentleman that I have uh, during my Zoom very early morning, and I advise the gentleman that please in, invest buying gold. It's just like a gun. When you come to the office, you inspect every bar the courage and the purity so you must remember you are not buying 24 carats you are buying unrefined the 24 carats is already refined so if you are watching or reading my my virtual page i put everything the reference that from the dust gold to dory bar to refine which is 99.99 so please when you go on my virtual page, I want you to take time to digest it, okay? Now, the time here is 11.39. I would be closing midnight. I just pop in in order to answer the question. Another gentleman from South Africa. And uh, I just finished having a conference as well. He found me on YouTube, and he did agree that there is no way a buyer asking to bring gold to Brink's office. No, we don't bring the gold to Brink's office. Brink's is just a shipper, just like a DHL. You bring your, <coughs> excuse me, you bring your package to DHL. The DHL will weigh the package and you have to pay the shipping cost and you need to insure it. That was my explanation a few minutes ago, and he did understand. Now, I think this um, this buyer from Dubai, <coughs> they, don't know they, are, they don't know what they're looking. They wanted to bring the gold to Dubai. No, we don't bring gold to Dubai. We only bring the gold to Dubai when you pay the gold. Mm -hmm. And if you don't like to travel, and then you're sitting down in your chair, I'm sorry, it wouldn't work, and maybe you are just lazy. 
Most buyers in Dubai are not really buyers. They are just a joker broker, pretending to be a buyer. Now, may I explain again Dubai buyers? They are very, very smart. They're also good buyer in Dubai because Dubai is a, is a hub, is a tax free. You only pay a certain um, percentage when you bring the gold to Dubai. Now, when you bring gold to Dubai, you need to have an importation license. You need it. Because the Dubai custom will see where is the invoice that you have paid the gold. Where is your importation license? Mm -hmm. Most of the Indians are cutting corners. That is why you were being duped. That is the reason why you were being duped. Because you want to cut corner, you want to save money in order to get handsome profit. That is a wrong business. You will get the profit when you have the capital. If you don't have a capital and if you just going to leverage it and to launder, I'm telling you, you expect disaster. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to mention any names of the particular uh, buyer because I don't want him to be embarrassed. But actually, if you watch this video, you are the one I'm talking to. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, I already explained every video. Now, I urge you, plan now before end 2020. There is a prediction that gold will be 2,500. End of 2020, the beginning of 2021. Now, last year, I warned everyone, but nobody believes me. And last night, I was talking to Ferdinand. Ferdinand was watching on my live video and he was saying to me yeah last year mrs ford i think 2017 the price of gold was 35 2018 the gold was 45 mm -hmm. 2019 the gold was 48 2020 the gold 55 then jumped into 63 that was last night so Ferdinand was watching me and uh, following my um, my virtual page for three years, two to three years. And he just came in last night because he was uh, recalling that, oh, I saw this lady. Her name is Wilhelmina. So I was answering his question during my live video. So now it's about time for you to guys to ask questions while I'm live because I would exit midnight now the time here is 11 44 i might extend another 30 minutes i just come in in order to answer the question right now there was also a buyer stuck in bamako mali and sierra leone conakry ghana and mali now i'm going to emphasize this mali this buyer is stuck in mali he was looking for cheap price He's been in Mali for one year until now he couldn't get the gold. So Ali was telling me, Madam, I have a buyer, a foreigner, looking for cheap price in Mali. I told him oh, how much is asking price. He's looking for 37. And I told Ali, I'm going to go to, hang on. Ali is a buyer's agent. Just bear with me. Mm -hmm. Okay, just bear with me. I'm going. What is his name? Ali. Okay, Ali Bin. Mm -hmm. Ali Bin says to me, Madam, I have a buyer. Can you help? I said, No, I couldn't. Because our policy, we don't entertain buyers on the ground. We always entertain buyer with invitation. Before we're going to invite the buyer, I need to interview the buyer and I need to know his background. This is what I said to Ali. So Ali was saying to me, Ali is a buyer's agent and he is African. And he met this buyer 
He's stuck in Mali for one year. He's looking for $37,000 per kilo. Now, I said to Ali, I educate Ali, he's a buyer's agent. Okay, just a moment. I'm, who is this? Uh, I said to Ali, Ali, before you entertain any buyer, ask the buyer how long you've been in Bamako, Mali. Mm -hmm. That is my uh, explanation to Ali. And then ask the buyer what price you are looking for and ask that buyer why you were being stuck in Mali. Mm -hmm. So when I asked Ali, he said the buyer is looking for 37000 So I educate this buyer's agent. His name is Ali. Ali, the price of gold today is 63000 189.64 and that buyer he's a foreigner he's stuck in Bamako Mali for one year and he's looking for 37,000 per kilo and he wanted to get the profit of 26,189 per kilo that is the reason why he couldn't get the gold because gold is money he's buying mm -hmm. the price of gold in Africa, they are always basing on the world market demand. These local miners in Bamako, Mali, there are 4,500 local miners. Mm -hmm. And they are forming the organization. It's a big cartel. So all 4,500 miners, they bring their production to a cooperative. So cooperative has a lot of branches. Mm -hmm. So, cooperative is a cartel. Cooperative hired Wilhelmina to handle marketing on their behalf. Mm -hmm. So, the cooperative has 26 key members. So, those uh, small, uh, small trader, local trader, they get the gold from the big umbrella as a consignee. Mm -hmm. So, they're going to sell it to the world. And then they're gonna, they're gonna say, Oh, this is my price that is only gross. They will trap you in order for you to travel. But that particular seller is offering you very cheap, but that is not the price. I'll give you an example in real estate, right? Most of the real estate agents. They will use junk property in order for the buyer to ring, 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 ring. Mm -hmm. So that junk property actually doesn't belong to the company. And when the buyer saw the advertisement, oh, five acres is $25,000. So that innocent buyer said, so oh, where is that? <clears throat> where is that? Um, $25,000, 5 acres. It is in Woof Woof. Woof Woof means very far from the city. It's just like a farm. We call that Woof Woof here in Australia. So when someone rings, well, I mean, where is the five, uh, 5 acres of property, the 25000 Then I'm going to tell the buyer, I'm sorry, the, the property has been sold. Actually, that Woof Woof property doesn't belong to us mm -hmm. I will turn it back to gold that particular person he advertised he promote the gold cheap but that gold is money do you think you can get money very very cheap that the world is on panic right now and uh, the wise um, investors they are buying physical gold to protect their investment because there would be an inflation or deflation. We are now on inflation. So I'm just giving you the, the logic here so that you as the buyer watching me, you will gain knowledge why this particular seller is offering you cheap price. They will attract you. We call that they will tease you. But when you arrive on that particular country, it's no longer the price. Why? Because the government is in control. The price of gold must be based on the world market. 
Mm -hmm. So that is the reason why that particular buyer is stuck in Bamako Mali. Now another buyer, he wanted to buy gold in Ghana. Another buyer's agent. I don't know why you come to me, guys. I already told you that I don't deal Ghana. Used to be I deal Ghana. I fired all of my seller. Another buyer is stuck in Ghana. Now, Mr. Buyer, if you are watching me, you are stuck in Ghana. In Ghana, there are 14, refiner 14 or 15 refineries operating in Accra. Why they are there? So therefore, there is a business. Now, I'm going to enumerate how many refinery in Accra. Gold Coast Refinery. They are importing gold from Bamako Mali. They are importing gold from Sierra Leone. They are importing gold from Conakry. Go on their website. Watch that video. They are buying gold from different border to border in order to bring to Accra to refine it into 99.99 .99 and then send it back to Egypt because that gold goes as an Egyptian owner and partnership with the government. Why they are there, the government is giving them tax incentive in order to create employment to a local. Gold Coast, Asankas, PBC, AA Mineral, Bar Purity, Asapbasa, Geological, ER Logistics, MPIX, Triple Eight is Australian Refinery. I don't know if they are still in operation. WRL, Saharas, Mm -hmm. and so forth why they are there think about it mr foreigner why they are there why this refinery is already is an operation meaning to say it's business and you as a foreigner jump into the plane and fly to ghana and you were being disappointed because you are not a buyer, you are asking for cheap price and the seller would not entertain you, would not deal with you if you are asking for cheap price because that seller, he is going to sell his gold less 5% because the government will charge the buyer, the seller, he has to remit the valued added tax to his country, that valued added tax belong to that government in order to to uh, develop their country infrastructure so the seller has to remit that and the seller is paying the government royalty out of the sale now you as the foreigner are looking for cheap price i can guarantee you you would never get the gold now here again in conakry mm -hmm. Another foreigner is stranded again. Mm -hmm. We don't deal, as I've said to you guys, we don't deal buyer with no invitation. Mr. Buyer, if you have been watching my video, there is a link, full corporate offer called FCO. You can click on Conakry. It will open the, the full corporate offer. The procedure is very, very extensive. I want you to take time to click on every link. Conakry, Bamako Mali, click on the link. Sierra Leone, click on the link. There is a link on diamond. There is a link on gold. I want you to, to take time to read. Don't trust because you are buying million dollars here. You are buying money here. So take time and when you are ready, then that is the time you come back to Wilhelmina. When you come to Wilhelmina, please introduce yourself properly. Meaning to say you understood what you are reading. Now you need to send a formal letter of intent to buy coming from you. You are intending to purchase. That is called LOI. Now, I don't want to receive LOI cut and paste. I don't. 
I want to see the LOI coming from the buyer stating what carat he's looking, what purity he's looking, which destination that the gold will be delivered to him, and which refinery that the buyer wanted to bring the gold to his destination, the address of the refinery, the contact person, etc., etc. Why we want to know? Because we want to build you, Mr. Gold Trader, in a long run. Now, on the first trial, we don't deal CIF. This is FOB. That is the reason why I always encourage you guys start a trial, 10 or 20. Do you have $1 million plus? Because our selling price is 57 times 20. That is 1140000 Do you have that? Now, if you don't have that, I will consider 10 kilos to start with. Okay, 57 times 10 kilos. That is 570. That is not too bad. Do you have 570,000 in your bank account? Mm -hmm. So when you build your confidence with us, then we will consider maybe third shipment. We will consider to give you 40% down payment. Then the balance, you pay that after final assay. However, on the contract, we will put that 60% uh, the buyer must guarantee that you will not default the payment on the balance. That the buyer will guarantee that the seller's representative must come home alive and must come home well entertained by the buyer because you are going to deal with us in a long term. So on the first trial, we don't entertain CIF. Now, our business is not is BLC. It's not. It's not ISCRA. It's not. So on the second shipment, because you're already building your, your trust between the buyers and the seller, we might consider to allow you to have a down payment of 40%. That 40%, it will be used to pay the government taxes. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> you pay 40%. You, you will ask my seller to have a collateral. Mm -hmm. So, you pay the 40%, let's say uh, 50 kilos. Mm -hmm. You pay 25 kilos. Mm -hmm. Hang on. You pay... Uh, 30 kilos or maybe 20 kilos mm -hmm. that is a collateral mm -hmm. you're scared that the gold might not uh, ship to your destination I would be with you in order to assist you I would be with you on the ground sit down with this, my seller okay let's do this I will be the one to to negotiate on your behalf in front of my head office Okay, my head office, let's do this. This buyer wanted a long term. So let us give this buyer 10, 10 kilos to start with. Mm -hmm. 10 kilos to start with. You can hand carry if you want. Or you can ship it whenever your destination. This is cash. So you come back. So we will have a contract on the first trial, 10 kilos. The second shipment would be 50 kilos. On the third shipment, 100 kilos. On the fourth shipment, 500 kilos. Mm -hmm. So then, we will ask you to pay 40% on the second shipment. Then the seller representative will travel with you together to accompany you so that he would be paid on the balance of 60%. Do you understand what I'm saying here, Mr. Baya? Mm -hmm. So we don't deal is BLC. Now, is BLC, Mr. Baya, it stands for standard letter of credit. You don't have available cash. You have an asset. You have 
can apply to your bank facilities as a credit mm -hmm. because you don't have available cash but you have an asset solid asset but gold is liquid asset so the bank will scrutinize you before the bank will release the payment because you're going to borrow money against the gold mm -hmm. so we're gonna have a contract both buyers and sellers sign a contract and you're gonna submit that contract to your bank the bank will review the contract and you as the buyer will provide the seller all the information and the seller will provide you all the information of the seller mining license etc etc that L L B uh, is blc it would take to process maybe 90 or 100 days mm -hmm. it's very very costly and african seller they do business cash transaction you are dealing with the local miner that he has no facilities on his blc that the seller will use a financer to finance him and the financer will charge the seller a fee in business there is no free so why you're gonna use is blc and why you cannot afford to buy even 10 kilos why one american is in dubai right now i already warned this american guy and this buyer i rejected this buyer and he said madam i will handle it okay this buyer is indian mm -hmm. and he's using his blc and he's been floating around talking to different seller is blc is blc is blc now what happened until now the is blc has not been materialized mm -hmm. because the particular seller he has a financier based in London. Of course, the financier will charge the, the seller who owned the gold of maybe 5% charges. And the seller will perform 2% performance bond. And the seller, he will talk to the community to get that gold as a consignee. So the owner of the gold will not give his gold to that particular seller who has the license to export to you guys and without any payment then that is blc will fail so why not buy start 10 kilos or even five kilos i might consider but you need to convince me you send me your business registration your importation license your passport copy your proof of fund your bank statement that you have five hundred seventy thousand dollars available this is cash business mm -hmm. so i think i already explained to you guys now it's already midnight i just come in in order to explain again i will repeat brings another inquiry that i have a few hours ago madam we only buy gold brings to brings excuse my language if this if i say this i think this buyer is a really stupid i mentioned a few minutes ago that brings is just like a dhl it's a shipper the dhl would not accept precious item without export documentation without paperwork the brings will only accept the precious item when the seller provide commercial invoice when the seller provide to the buyer as a report ownership and custom clearance and airwheel after the buyer pay the gold if the buyer cannot afford to pay the gold why are we gonna bring that to brings why so this buyer is just a scrupulous buyer because Brings will not entertain. He wouldn't. I already called the Brings. I asked the Brings, what is your procedure? The procedure is very simple and clear. The Brings says to me, I called long distance. Huh? You must remember. I make an effort in order for me to explain to you guys for free. 
but when I travel with you to facilitate is no longer for free. My extra service, yes, there is a charge. There is a charge. Remember, a few minutes ago, I explained our selling price is 5%. Mm -hmm. But because that 5% is $60,000, mm -hmm, you're going to say, oh, too expensive. Oh, well, you're buying expensive products. You have to pay for it. Okay, I'm going back. Now, the time is midnight now. I'm going back to the world market because the price of gold, it changed. Mm -hmm. All right. So, it's still 63, uh, 63,300. Mm -hmm. So, don't bang on it because the price of gold changes every 30 minutes. We have a time difference. Here in Australia, it's already morning. It is Thursday. We are now on September 17. few minutes ago, it was September 16. Now we are now 17. So maybe in your end, you are still midday or 1 o'clock. So bear with me, okay? And do your plan. You come back to Wilhelmina if you are really serious buyer. Mm -hmm. And if you are not serious buyer, don't waste your time. Mm -hmm. You can go anywhere any offer there's so many offer offering you cheap price you wait for disaster at the end of the day you are expecting 100 percent disaster so which one you want mr buyer you have two options you want to buy gold in a proper way but you will get still a profit and you want to buy gold very cheap at the end of the day you're gonna be duped or you travel to africa with no invitation you're window shopping and you're stuck in africa like this gentleman you're stuck in bamako mali for one year and nobody will deal with him why he's not a buyer he's looking for cheap price he wanted to have a profit of twenty six thousand dollars per kilo today is, is 63 63 189.64 minus 37,000 he's looking for he wanted to get a profit of 26,189 per kilo why the seller will give him that why so this buyer is crook mm -hmm. so what happened stuck in Bamako Mali what happened another another buyer I'm going to mention again I met a gentleman they're European they're from Swiss and he was communicating with Wilhelmina this is Conakry mm -hmm. and he said that he wanted to buy 50 kilos his partner contacted me through his broker mm -hmm. they wanted to buy 50 kilos. He cannot get gold in Gambia because the seller would not sell his gold. He's waiting for the price to go up. So they wanted to get the gold in Conakry. So it was introduced by three or four brokers. So I entertained the other broker. Mm -hmm. So he linked to me with this Swiss buyer on WhatsApp on the group chat. So I interviewed the buyer. And he said he is a buyer. So he is going to bring the gold to Dubai to sell it to his own customer. That is normal. That is buy and sell. The problem with this Swiss guy, mm -hmm, he doesn't want to be meet in the airport. He doesn't want to meet in the hotel. And he, he doesn't want to come to the office. Mm -hmm. We exchange information, huh? And we send him a letter of acknowledgement and the contract. He did not return the contract. So I bend the protocol. Now, this is a bad experience for you guys. Huh? This video explanation, it would give you the knowledge that why you fail. Mm -hmm. Now, this uh, guy from Gambia, mm -hmm, he said, uh, we don't want to do business with you, Mrs. Ford, if you company representative will come to see us we will take a taxi to come to your office 
I told this guy, we don't do that. You never know you are a criminal. You never know you are a hold upper. <clears throat> My seller is very, very strict. He would not entertain buyer with no appointment because there is precious item on that building. Mm -hmm. And we are very extra careful dealing with the foreigner. Mm -hmm. I am a foreigner. My seller instructed me we are very extra careful. This is money they are buying. You never know they are a hold upper. Now, we turn it down the last minute. Mm -hmm. And he arrived in Conakry, stuck for three weeks. And he was been sitting down. He stayed at the Royal Column Hotel. I recommended, but he refused, pretending to refuse. And he said he will stay in the other hotel. But I think he decided to stay at the Royal Column Hotel. Mm -hmm. So the two brokers come to me. Mm, three nights ago. Madam, we have a buyer in Conakry. They want, they want to pay cash. And uh, they wanted 50 kilos. And can you help me, madam? I said, really? And where the buyer coming from? Uh, he's a Swiss guy. Mm -hmm. And is he from Gambia? And the broker said, yes, madam. So I explained to one broker, I said, no, I know, I know this guy. And I already rejected him. So he bring his partner and his partner urged me to reconsider. Mm -hmm. So I said to this partner, we don't, we don't do that. We are not beggars. Gold is money he's buying. Mm -hmm. So go back to your buyer that will mean a notion. So what I have done, I sent the buyer a voice message on WhatsApp. I told this buyer, unfortunately, you failed. The reason why you failed, because you're an arrogant buyer, and you want your terms, and you are a foreigner, and we always be careful dealing with the foreigner. Mm -hmm. That is the reason why you were being scam as well, because of your terms and condition is not acceptable. So he wanted the gold to brought to the central bank. And I told this broker, no, we don't do that. The buyer has to come to the office first, meeting with the seller, inspect his order when he likes it. He make a down payment, a commitment before the gold leave the building. Then the seller will bring the gold to Central Bank to ASI. There is a cost of $100 per kilo. So this buyer was arrogant. What happened? He fell. Mm -hmm. He fell. So Mr. Buyer, please do not dictate your terms and condition. If you want this, this precious item, you are buying money. So therefore, you have to follow the golden rules of the country. You have to follow the rules and regulation, not rules and regulation of yours. You can negotiate the price through Wilhelmina. I'm helping you to load down a little bit of discount in order for you to get the profit. Now, how are you going to get the profit? Mm -hmm. Very simple. You're a businessman. You When you resell it to your customer, spot price, whatever the price of the gold today. Now, you're going to be confused. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of in interviewed this morning and this afternoon. Yes, now we are not talking about yesterday. Today is morning. Madam, we are buying gold through LBMA. Mm -hmm. Now, Mr. Buyer, we are now on the internet shopper highway. You should type what is the meaning of LBMA. LBMA is an association of different refinery base in London. All right. Uh, LBMA means London Bullion Market Association. They are buying a raw materials in order to refine to make into one dollar, two dollar. 
They are refining the raw materials, which is gold bar dory and dust gold, to make into 99.99. So if you are buying 99.99, there is no discount. Whatever the price of LBMA, that is the price. The price of the gold today is 63,189.64. That is the price of LBMA. So the gold volume market association they are in control of the pricing so you are looking to buy 99.99 you pay 63,189 this gold gold volume association they travel to africa buying raw material which is dust gold they smelt into dory bar and then they bring it to london they are the one who do the marketing exclusively we are in control of the world market price you are buying from us unrefined do you understand what is the meaning refined and unrefined refined means the price of gold is 63 189.64 that is already refined mm -hmm. we are selling unrefined with is 22 carats you can refine that your refinery knows how to refine that to make into 99.99 so when you resell it to the refinery or you can resell it to the jewelry manufacturer he knows the price whatever the price the following day when you buy today whatever the price tomorrow that is they are going to pay you is spot price so we are giving you a discount in order for you to get the profit. But if you are dealing with so many chain or broker, Mr. Buyer, you expect to pay your buyer's agent. We don't pay double commission. We don't. I try to remove that. Instead, we give the buyer discount because we want to deal the buyer directly in a long term, not a short term. So, Mr. Buyer, do you understand that now what is refined and unrefined? Now, on my virtual page, you watch thoroughly and read the full corporate opera, and there is a video, the finished product versus unfinished product, meaning to say that finished product is already refined, gold bullion, Gold coming from Conakry, gold coming from Bamako Mali, gold coming from Sierra Leone. You are buying a dory bar. A dory bar can make into different uses. Now, I think I already explained it to you guys. It's up to you to digest. Please do not waste my time. If you're just asking, Madam, how much is the price of 24 carats? I have an Indian guy said, Madam, how much is the 24 carats? I ignore him because he's not paying attention. He's not reading properly. I don't have time to educate you guys. You small uh, broker or gold trader, you don't know the price you read because on my virtual page, I'm the only person who provides the vital information in order for the buyer to come to us, in order for the buyer to buy from us, so that I could guide him because I know that most of the buyer, 95% has been scam, has been duped because you are trying to cut corner. <laughs> now, there was a lady, she knows me, and when I put the shipping agent that I told everybody on my page that my seller used this shipping agent and she was dealing the shipping agent through this seller and she was being offered of $37,000 in Sierra Leone. Eh? Now, she sent money to a shipper. And the gold didn't arrive. So 215 kilos. And he, she only pay $50,000. Mm -hmm. Now, on 215 kilos, she was given 
I think she was given 37,000 mm -hmm. times uh, 215. That is, um, this is the price. Mm -hmm. On 215 kilos. She was given 37, eh? 215 times 37,000. This is the value of the gold. Mm -hmm. This one. Now, she was dealing with the shipping agent, which I put on my page that my seller was using this shipping agent. So she contacted the shipping agent. So when the gold didn't arrive, the lady is from New York. Mm -hmm. She contacted me. Well, Amina, I was being scammed. Really? How did it happen? I deal with the shipping agent that you mentioned on your page. I said, and then I send him $50,000. Okay. And we are, we are expecting the goal to arrive. And we're giving a collateral of 9 kilos. Okay. On 9 kilos, 37000 times 9 this is the value of the collateral but she only sent $50,000 mm -hmm. so why is she gonna blame me that she didn't buy gold from me she didn't deal with me and then when she was being duped she come to me for help All right and I tried to talk to this um, shipping agent and the shipping agent was telling me, Madam, she doesn't have the money. And I told her, you don't have the money, according to the shipping agent. So I called the shipping agent. What happened? Oh, Madam, the gold doesn't belong to us. The gold belongs to the seller. And it's really very complicated when I find out, when I called. I spent long distance. And this lady, she demanded to call me. And I spent long distance. And this lady, she cut corner. And she is not my customer. Why should I spend a long distance? But I feel sorry for her. I'm just sharing you guys here. So that you guys, you are really greedy. Okay, this lady was following me. And you are greedy. You, are lo you have been offered $37,000. You know that the price of gold is not $37,000. The $37,000 is 12 carats. Mm. Now, and that lady, she didn't travel because she was offered $37,000. And our selling price is less 5%. And I told everybody on my video, I, will, I am going to go with you, but I will charge you my extra service. I will give you 8%. Sometimes I will give you 10% because you pay my extra service in return. I've given you a very good deal, so you owe me a favor. But that lady, that she didn't even have a courtesy in the beginning, I spent a dollar long distance, so she owe me a favor instead. Can you imagine that, how this lady is using my services for free? Mm -hmm. And then she said she was being scammed. That's not my fault. That is her fault because she was dealing with a seller that I don't know. And she doesn't know the seller. And she was been communicating because she need the gold to deliver in New York. Mm -hmm. So now, what happened? Do not come to Wilhelmina, guys. I told you guys that do not deal, do not send money in Africa unless you travel. Do not send money. How many times I was telling you on my video, please do not send money unless you travel unless you are invited mm -hmm. if you are not invited by us don't come to Wilhelmina oh Wilhelmina I was being scammed well that is your problem not mine it is your problem because you are one of the scammer what is the meaning of scam Mr. Baya do your research what is the meaning of scam you can type it Online, you will get the answer. Do not ask me because you did not buy gold from us. 
you did not sign a, a contract with us and you did not send a formal letter of intent to Wilhelmina, but you are following me, right? And you have been offered in Sierra Leone what happened. Failure. I just want to share it here so that those buyer floating around looking for cheap price, you're going to burn your pocket, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. So I have a very good uh, live uh, Zoom conference um, this morning around 3 o'clock in the morning. And uh, the person, he asked a very direct question and he was being pleased. Mm -hmm. And you can watch the video. His name, okay, I'm gonna, his name is, his name is hard to pronounce. I'm going to mention. He's a good guy. Okay. Just a minute, I'm gonna Gid Drus, I think his name. It's very hard to pronounce. Gid Drus Krosana, yeah. And uh, thank you, Gid Drus, that uh, you invited me to have a Zoom conference and you asked a very good question on how to protect your customer not to be scammed in the future. That's very good. And I, I like your slide about Africa. That's very good. So I hope your buyer would understand because I didn't understand the language, but Jitrud um, translated into English. And thank you very much. And it was my pleasure having a conference with you guys uh, around 3 o'clock in the morning in Zoom conference. And I hope I give you the insight about Africa based on my experience mm -hmm. thank you very much have a pleasant good morning in your end i think it's already uh, one o'clock or um, two o'clock in the afternoon and uh, take good care of you guys and uh, i'm going to sign off now and i hope you listen to this video please once again before i close please do not send money to africa until you're gonna be on the ground and you do not send money until you're gonna be invited please save time first relax enjoy reading first do your planning buy a gold taster you can buy that online there is five thousand there is twenty two thousand dollars mm -hmm. so anyway and uh, i hope i've given you a very good insight you come to Wilhelmina, I know you have been window shopping. You're comparing prices to prices. I wish you good luck. Mm -hmm. We are not here to pressure you. I am here to tell, follow the golden rules. There's a saying, he who has the gold makes the rules. The government is making the rules, not you. You are following the rules of the government. When you have the money, you come with me. You pay, then you will get the gold. I can guarantee you, I can assure you, you will not be cheated. Thank you very much. Have a pleasant good morning once again and good afternoon to you.